Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel. We're doing something really different today. I wanna to show you this kit that I got. It's called Bird by Hand and it's a bird model kit. It's a kit that comes with a pre-carved bird and you just have to sand and paint it and it comes with a little stand and you can assemble it and then have a little bird friend. I bought this kit at the thrift store because I thought it would just be a fun thing for me to do on my own time. I could just paint it and it might be kind of a fun little activity. But then I was thinking about it more and I figured I could do some sort of collage diorama model hybrid and give this bird a really fun environment and do something really interesting and kind of bizarre surrounding the bird. And I just kind of feel like we could do something really fun with this. Also, my hypothesis is the paint that's included in this kit is going to be uh, probably dried up and we're not gonna be able to use it anyway. So we might as well do some fun collage things around it. I'm envisioning that the bird is sitting in you know, a field of couches, or maybe there's a field of feet, or something bizarre that is surrounding this bird and it's found itself in this unique, weird place. I really wanna push for something very bizarre and unusual for this piece, so let's jump into it. All right, let's bust open this box. There's already a tear here. I'm so curious what this is gonna look like. Okay, we've got our paint. Couple colors, got some instructions. Oh, we've got one of those really horrible paint brushes. Got the wooden base, a little piece of sandpaper. I think these are the bird's eyes and some other tools. The bird itself and the little branch that the bird will be uh, balanced on. So I think the idea of this is that the stick comes out of the base and then the bird rests on it. And what I wanna do is glue stuff to the base sticking up so we can create a little environment that the bird will sit on. And maybe we'll even collage on the bird. I haven't decided yet. And maybe even we can give it a background to make it kind of like a complete scene. I don't know, I think there are lots of possibilities. We're not gonna use this, but I am a little curious if this paint is dried or not. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's gloopy, but it's, it's technically still paint. <laughs> to put the bird together, I need to do a little bit of sanding, and we need to glue some things together, but I'm gonna assemble this, and then we'll talk about the actual collage because that's the interesting part. So I pulled out some folder categories that I think might have some fun things in them to create environments. So I have food, people, objects, miscellaneous, which who knows what's in that, and human body parts. So let's go through these and see if there's anything cool in them. Here's some options for what we can create sort of a field of around the bird. So I had mentioned couches at the beginning, so maybe we could do that. I also pulled out some cars because it is a cardinal, so maybe that. <laughs> and we could cut them in half and have them sticking up. That might be fun. Again, a cardinal, little punny, kind of like that. I also found these weird looking carrots, which kind of look like legs and I feel like we could cut out all of these and have them sticking straight up and it's like carrot legs. That is kind of a good idea. I also found this loaf of bread, which I just kind of liked. Um, also this pot of soup, this really big pot of soup could be our background if we create entire background around the bird. And if we do the carrots, then it's sort of like the carrots are going into the soup and we're sort of in the pot or about to go in the pot. That could create sort of a nice narrative. And then maybe the bird could be, I don't know, an onion or something else that goes in the soup. So I don't know, that's a, that's a potential 
possibility. The last thing I found was all of these uh, spoons with different pastas, and we could have them standing straight up around the bird. Um, it is a little bit weird if they're standing straight up or they, you know, defying gravity in a weird way. I, I don't know. We're, this whole thing is going to be weird, so I guess I probably shouldn't think about it like that. I'm kind of digging the cardinal idea with the car, but I am trying to figure out then what would the bird be if the cars are surrounding the bird. Is the bird a different thing to go along with the story? I'm not exactly sure. I'm also kind of liking this carrot soup idea because I think that we could create a nice narrative. I'm a little torn between those, but I think that they're both really good ideas. So I'm kind of excited. My desk feels naked without my cutting mat. Much better. So I've been digging a little bit more and I'm really into this vegetable soup idea. So I have all these vegetables here and I also found some asparagus that are sticking straight up that I also could use. And in terms of the bird, I was thinking maybe it could be, you know, a turnip or a radish or maybe a bulb of garlic. So I feel like there's potential with this idea. And I love that the background can be this pot of soup and that's sort of where everything is taking place. So I really love this idea. I'm going to keep going with it. And I think the first step is to glue everything to cardstock so I can cut it out and then it will be able to stand straight up. So I'm gonna pick up my vegetables and we'll glue them down and then cut them out and we'll start assembling. All right, I have all my carrots and asparagus cut out. Now here's the plan. I was thinking a lot about what to do with the bird, how to make it incorporated into the soup theme. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna paint it red and give it a little tomato hat, a little green stem. And this can be a tomato bird. And I think that will sort of fit into the rest of the sort of theme we're going for here. The other thing is I kind of am not loving the wood stem that the bird is gonna be sitting on. So I found this radish that I think is making sort of a similar arch. And I think we might be able to cover it up with this radish. So we kind of just can like glue it to the front. And so the tomato bird will be sitting on a radish. Um, well, maybe we should just make it a radish bird because they're both red. I don't know, that will be up to interpretation. Um, then I also need to cut down this uh, pot for the background. So I guess let's start to assemble. I think this is gonna look a little bit like a hot mess, but let's trust the process and hopefully it turns out looking like something. Okay, I think the radish is gonna work on that. We might have to trim off some of the end um, of the stick, but I think we can do that. I'm happy with that fit. So I've been playing around with ways on how to affix these vegetables to the base. And I cut a little slit in the base with my X-Acto knife. And I think it's just enough to put some glue in there and have the piece of paper kind of slide in there a little bit. And I think that might work. So the whole cutting little notches to 
lay the vegetables into was not super working. So what I ended up doing was cutting little strips of paper and then folding them in half and gluing them to the back of the vegetables. So when hopefully when I put them down on the base and I affix them to the base, they'll stand up straight. Now, for now, I'm just gonna tape some of them down to get sort of more of an idea of what this is gonna look like. So we'll get the first asparagus in place back here. The other thing to remember is that we're going to be covering the stick here with this radish. So I guess that carrot right there doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it's kind of covering it right up. So the soup is going to go in the background, something like that. And then the other thing to remember is that the bird, our little tomato bird, is gonna be sitting on this branch, something like that. Wow, this is the weirdest thing I've ever made. We still have to give him a little tomato hat. And um, so I think we should probably get that into the scene solid first and then get the carrots and stuff around the bird after. I This is definitely the weirdest thing I've ever done. And um, it's, <laughs> I'm, I'm just still not sure, but I'm still just trying to trust the process. So here's where we are so far. I think we have a really good balance of asparagus to carrots. It's not overwhelming, but it still definitely feels like a field. The thing I'm still trying to figure out is what I wanna do with the base. I think maybe once everything is glued down, I should just paint the entire thing black. I feel like it will hide everything and make it blend in with the pot a little bit better. So what's left to do? We have to glue everything down, paint the whole base black, affix the pot to the background, and give the cardinal eyes and a little tomato spout. And then I think we might be done. So I have my little tomato greens right here and I think I'm just gonna glue it right to the forehead and then we'll put some eyes right underneath and hopefully the cardinal will look enough like a tomato that it doesn't look absolutely ridiculous. But I mean, I think we're past that point. Everything about this is absolutely ridiculous. I have my black Posca pen here and I'm just gonna pop two eyes on. And here's our finished sculpture, our wonderful tomato bird sitting on a radish in a field of weird carrots and asparagus. I hope that you guys enjoyed going on this journey with me to create this wacky sculpture. I feel like it works with and without the soup background. And I just love how fun and weird and pointless it is. <laughs> and I just think it's really fun. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.